everyone. I'm here at the official Week Zero event with Team 5687, the Outliers. They're here to tell us about their stellar robot that they have this year with their intake, shooter, and programming capabilities. Coming up next on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Uh, hi, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm the technician for 5687. Uh, one kind of really important aspect of our robot this year uh, when we were going through the design is we realized we needed it to be very fast. It was something we noticed last year, uh, High Tide, for example, their extra speed gave them an extra cycle or two a match, and that was really what kind of pushed them up to the level they were. Um, and in thinking about that, that was something we realized during the preseason. It's something that kind of matters in every game. And we decided to develop, um, instead of like a dual motor swerve, we used to run differential swerves for the past three years. Unfortunately, with the rule change uh, this past summer, we're no longer allowed to use two motors to propel one wheel. So we developed a custom shifting swerve drive. It uses uh, a ball shifter from Andymark, um, similar to shifting tank drives. Uh, it's actuated by a pneumatic lever and that pushes us into either the high gear or low gear, and it does so automatically. Um, for our high gear, we have a 4.5 to 1 ratio. On our low gear, we have a 7 to 1 ratio. And in the high gear, we have a top speed of about 20 feet per second actual uh, and 22 theoretical. But what doesn't matter, the top speed doesn't matter as much as how fast we reach the top speed because a lot of swerves, especially with the new Krakens, which we are running, can reach around 20 feet a second. But to, in order to accelerate and reach that, you'd already be on the other side of the field once you hit 20 feet a second. With the shifting swerves, we shift into that high gear, and that gives us about an extra half a second every single cycle, which doesn't seem like a lot, but over the match, that adds up to about another cycle or a cycle and a half, which at the highest level of competition will really be able to push us over the edge. Thank you, Aaron. Now let's head over to Veronica to talk more about this shooter. Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm a lead mechanical and the lead CAD designer on this team. Um, for the shooter, we decided we wanted a stationary structure for the shooter to be mounted on. The structure is at an angle for the maximum distance we're going to be shooting at. It's an op optical angle for our testing. We also decided we wanted horizontal shafts for the shooter wheels. And we started out with two wheels at the beginning of the season, but then we found out three wheels on each shaft was more optimal. We also have polyethylene inside the shooter to make the, um, to shoot more, uh, for more slippery surface as you're shooting. Since we have this rigid st stationary structure for the shooter, but we still, when shooting closer, you want a higher angle to be able to shoot the closer shots. So we decided to add another modular system, which we call the deflector, to be able to change our angle of the shot that, so we can go closer than the maximum shot that the stationary structure allows. Um, it's a high gear, it's a very high gear ratio, so it doesn't go down too easily. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Cool. So that is a complex shooter. Can you show us the intake and the handoff and how it all goes together? Hi, my name is Madeline. I'm on the electrical team and the pit crew. So our intake is an under the bumper intake and we have three poly uh, belts that bring it up to the shooter. So it's very fluid. We don't lose any surface of this when we bring it up there. We also squish it like, um, like this when it goes up there and that kind of like flings it a little further when we're shooting. Um, 
So yeah. Now, this is a very complex robot. Can you tell us a little bit more about the programming that went into it? Uh, so I'm Xavier. I'm a programmer on 5687. And I'm going to tell you about our vision system, which I think is one thing that sets us apart from other teams. So we have photon vision running on these cameras. On these four orange pies, we decided that um, running multiple processors gave us a higher frame rate, which in turn gives us a more accurate reading of where the robot is on the field. Um, but my favorite part of the vision is this ZX cam, which is hooked up to an NVIDIA Jetson Orin, which runs a neural network to determine the position of the notes on the field. And we, uh, we pass that in as the error in a PID. To, uh, we pass that in as the error on a closed loop PID controller, which changes the pose of our robot and intakes the note automatically. Um, and that can help us if we're in a tight spot trying to intake a note. If we're on the opposite side of the field, we can't see it. Yeah. That is an awesome system. Thank you, 5687, for the interview. And Thank you. we appreciate it. Good luck on the field and at the rest of your 2024 events. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.